This is the Forge Quick Shift Short Shift Kit and it's going in this, my 2011 Mark VI GTS. It claims to shorten the front to back throw by up to 40%. In this video I'll go over the install, my opinion of the shifter, and if I think it's worth it over stock. Before I begin the install I want to see what the stock throw of the stock shifter is. Front to back is about 5.5 inches. So let's get the Forge Quick Shifter in and see what it does. I needed a 13mm socket with wrench and extension, a flathead screwdriver or pick, an adjustable wrench or 15mm deep socket, a 5mm allen wrench, and of course the short shifter and parts. I made sure the car was on a flat surface, parking brake on, and shifter in neutral. Then I can unlatch the hood and start to remove the air box. There is a 5mm hex on the rear of the box. Once loosened, I can start unclipping the front part of the intake and loosen it from the air box. I made sure to disconnect the mass airflow sensor before removing the air box from the intake pipe. And now that the air box is out, I have access to the shifter. I can also remove the battery for more access, but it's not necessary. It's now time to start to remove the stock shifter. I removed the clip on the shift linkage, pulled it off, and placed it to the side. I then unclipped the plastic C-clip and did the same with the other linkage. The next step was to unscrew the 13mm bolt holding the shifter to the transmission. With that removed and a little bit of wiggling and elbow grease, the stock shifter came right off. Before I put the forge quick shift in place, I need to attach the cable shaft that matches what was on the OEM shifter. It is simply screwed on and tightened with either an adjustable wrench, 15mm wrench, or 15mm deep socket. The further in, the more of a reduction in throw. I'm placing it in the maximum reduction position. Now I can install the shifter. It only goes in one way so it's pretty straightforward to install. I also made sure not to over tighten the nut as I've heard it can snap off the stud. Once on, I applied a little bit of the provided grease to ensure the parts can move smoothly and then slipped the right side linkage back on and clipped the C-clip back in place. Before I can reattach the left side linkage, I need to make sure it is set in the correct position. This is where the bent nail in the kit comes into play. With the transmission still in neutral, I had to remove the shift boot and insert the nail into two holes aligning it in the correct position. Once in place, I can go back to the engine bay and attach the linkage. Once attached, I simply loosen the plastic cable ends to release all slack or tension, leaving it in the correct position. When this is done, I can remove the nail from the shifter boot and put everything back together. Easy as that. This install took me about 30 minutes and was super easy to do. Now let's see what the difference in throw is. After install of the Forge Quick Shift Shifter, the front to back throw is about 3.5 inches. A decrease of 2 inches, that's 37%. It feels way quicker, a little more notchier, and is a blast to drive now. I definitely think it is worth it over the stock shifter which just seems a bit too long and sloppy. Paired with the ECS clutch bump stop, my car's transmission is shifting quicker and better than ever. If you found the video helpful or entertaining, make sure to give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe for future content, and as always, thanks for watching.